Welcome back. Some breaking news now coming in. An update on the SSLV launch. Uh, the ISRO officials now confirming that there has been data loss in the terminal phase and the satellite is no longer usable. So that's the update coming in from ISRO. This was after the first launch of the new ISRO rocket that ran into some trouble after data loss. Now the satellites are no longer usable. Prapanch is joining us live with more details on this. Uh, Prapanch, there was a lot of excitement early in the morning uh, as a lot of students, in fact, the entire country had been waiting to know what next. But the ISRO now confirming that there has been some data loss because of which the satellite is no longer usable. That's right. Uh, early in the morning, uh, around 9.18 a.m., the SSLV D1 was launched. In fact, the whole environment was jubilant. Uh, several students had taken part in the, uh, uh, in the viewers' gallery to just uh, see the launch of the SSLV. However, uh, the emotions turned by afternoon because we, we were able to understand that ISRO was giving information. Initially, they said that data loss and subsequently they said that uh, the uh, SSLV D1 placed these satellites into 356 kilometer in elliptical orbit, which should have been instead of uh, circular orbit. So that was the information that was given, and that is why these satellites are no longer usable. So this is a very unfortunate uh, uh, incident. However, we could see that uh, this is a maiden, maiden launch, a maiden mission for SSLV. The rocket was a completely soil, solid state uh, fuel using rocket. So, however, uh, the ISRO has also reassured okay. that they will be uh, bringing back with a, a new SSLV D2 okay. shortly. All right. Prapan, thank you for joining us uh, with those details. Of course, a heartbreak, but on to the next uh, course of action for the ISRO. Thank you so much for watching. That's all we have for you in this edition of the Bulletin. News and updates continue on the other side.